Hey everyone, Sean Savin Moo at your service and the, the season's begun. We have aerated green, so we still have to wait for some conditions here. But today we're gonna show you a long putt up two tiers. And for many of you, it's very frustrating because you're always a little tentative going up that tier and you never make it to the top and the ball ends up rolling back, very frustrating. We're gonna show you an important hack to always get to the top tier no matter what. So we got two hacks that are gonna really help you get to the top tier. If you don't like looking at the hole, all you need is a little Goldilocks, but you gotta trust it, okay? So I'm gonna take a practice swing that I feel be way too soft that would never get up this slope. There's no way that ball will ever make it up the slope. Now I have an absolute reference. It, it looks silly, but it's amazing how this works. So now I'm gonna do a practice swing that's gonna be way too strong that I feel would roll off the back of the green. So that one would roll up, go past the pin, roll down the other side and get off the fringe. Now I'm gonna do one in between. Now it feels like, hey, that's pretty good because the greens are slow, they've just been aerated, they're very bumpy, but I need to get up that slope. So I feel like that one would definitely get up the slope and go by the hole. So how much momentum was that again? Oh yeah, it was about that much. So now I've got my nice in between. I've just rolled it a foot and a half past the hole and we're sitting pretty for a beautiful par, okay? So you notice how sweet that was? Because I trusted my in-between. Don't second guess it, just let it go. Now, what you're gonna see Moo do, and this is, I remember like it was yesterday, I played Piners number two. My caddy, Sydney, told me, hey, Sean, go to the first tee, and there's a crown green there that you need to practice rolling balls up onto the green from. And I noticed that looking at the hole, I was always getting up on top of the ridge. I had a glorious day. I putted beautifully doing that. And so here it is. Hey, a special shout out for True Linkswear. Look at the new threads they have this year. They have these incredible slim fit pants that Sav says I look 15 years younger in. I'm, I'm catching up on you, Moo. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you look at Moose style, he's got the joggers, he's got the mock, 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 the mock shirt, yeah, mock neck, yeah. and I've got the standard shirt underneath here with uh, the top on it. And uh, just the, the fit and the quality and the softness, uh, they went all out. I mean, you know, look out Lululemon. <laughs> they went all out on the quality on, this, on these garments, and then these shoes are just phenomenal. The new uh, hybrid Lux. Yeah. And the T, the, what is it? The FSO ones. The FSO ones. You yeah. don't want to miss those. They're like slippers. Yeah. So check it out at truelinkswear.com. Uh, Wisdom in, in golf, golf 10. Yeah, that's right. Is your, uh, is your little coupon code. Get in there and enjoy. So Moo has a different attitude. He's more like the basketball player. He's going to see that ball roll up the hill and hit the pole and then keep his eyes there and deliver the putt. Oh, great putt, Moo. Yes, oh. sir, man, look at you. That was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. A one, a one take wonder. So let's, uh, Sav, let's see what uh, you have in mind. What so you what you're gonna love about Sav's stroke here, notice how the heel of the putter is off the ground. But technically, she likes to stand nice and tall like that, so it's gonna be very close to the ball. Wow, what a putt, get in. Wow, beautiful. We have it surrounded. <laughs> so here, Sav, stay in your setup so I can explain to everybody how good that is. So you remember Steve Stricker, how he used to have the heel of the putter off the ground like that.
because the putter, especially this Cobra putter here, which is really cool, it's got that sick technology where you have only one and a half degrees of loft, regardless of how you strike the putt. It's got this gorgeous aluminum insert, so the ball just rolls beautifully. And we've seen the difference on these very bumpy greens. Uh, it, it just tends to hug the ground a little bit better. And so when you have this, um, this you know, just slight loft on it, it's not going to affect. So whether you have the toe off the, you know, into the ground or the, or the toe off the ground, it doesn't affect direction, right? So you don't have to worry about that. And Steve Stricker, when he used to, you know, she's standing nice and tall, the arm putter unit's hanging beautifully. And you see how the shaft is an extension of her forearms. So everything is in balance and it doesn't matter whether or not the heel is off the ground or not because there's just not enough loft to make any difference. So if you, you look at the quality of that stroke, Line up just a little more left there, Sav. There you go. Now we're in line. So notice how that putter swings beautifully down the line. And if your arm putter unit is in balance, you don't really have to practice it because gravity's already tracking it for you. So what you want to practice is making putts. So you want to practice seeing that ball roll in and then releasing and letting momentum roll the ball into that picture, okay? Options. Very important to understand your options when you're around the green. Sometimes you may need to chip it. If we were going to this pin and we're chipping down the slope, we have enough slope to deal with, enough, you know, roll out that we don't, you know, fear going too far past the hole. But if the, full, the hole was over here, halfway down the slope, the option for this one is putting. You don't so Moo's gonna go ahead and do the first chip down the slope here. He's got a 60 degree wedge. You don't have to do anything fancy. You just square face, follow the slope, bump the ball onto the green and let it trickle into the hole. So task is cutting the stem down the slope using momentum. Lovely. Look at that. So we had plenty of room to roll down the slope. We got a three footer coming back up the hill. Now, yeah. go ahead and chip one to this head cover here, Moo. Okay. So you got to chip it out of this rough, right? Yeah. It's got to land somewhere here. Uh huh. Oh man, look at the touch on that. That's as good as it gets. That's as good as it gets. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't have the touch of this big fella, <laughs> right? You wanna use the putter. So what's really cool about the putter here and that the ball is sitting properly, I got all this grass to slow down my ball and then the ball can just trickle down to that hole. I would definitely not putt to go all the way over there though. So I get set up. I need my intermediate point. I'm going to go right there. Balance out that stroke. And now I'm just going to let momentum roll it out of this rough. And the rough slows down the ball. And look at that. Notice how the ball was able to stay there. Whereas normally, if you come out with a normal chip, the ball would land and just scurry 10 feet past the hole and you'd have a real tough putt coming back. And you notice how easy it was to keep it at that level right there. So way to go, Moo. Thanks. Extremely well demonstrated. Appreciate the help. So keep that in mind next time you've got downhill, 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 the triple downs. If you have a slope going down and then it stabilizes, then chipping may be a better option because then the ball just stops at the bottom of the hill and you got a 20 foot putt left. Right. But if it's downhill off the slope and downhill fringe, and then you got a you know fast green moving away from you, mm -hmm. 
Try rolling the ball out of here with a putter. It really, really works.